Welcome to the Flash 3D tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to actually make a 3D Flash menu similar to the one that you see right here. Um, a few simple things. Um, first of all, you have a couple demos you can view. Simply click on the Demo 1 button and it'll show you that demo. Click on the Demo 2 uh, and it'll show you an example with uh, just using photographs and so forth. Obviously, if you want, you can submit your own work and uh, we might actually feature that on the uh, website. Anyways, if you'd like to create this kind of menu, it's actually pretty simple. Right here, you specify how wide and, and uh, how high the actual menu should be. Um, if you have a specific menu background that you want to put in, you put it here. Um, if you want to change the font for the menu items, for example, what you see up here, uh, simply change this. So, for example, I'll change it to, um, let's say, this type of font. And then you would click on Refresh Project and then it would load the changes and now you'll notice right up here at the top the font has changed. If you wanted to change the size again uh, change it to say 28 and maybe change the font again. Um, click on the refresh project and uh, then all of a sudden you see the nice cool new font. Um, obviously you can change various features such as the menu background color, um, uh, the menu item color, the text color, and so forth, and um, even the bubble border. Let's say we wanted to change that. Uh, so this is the bubble border. Click on Refresh Project again, and now you'll notice the border has changed. Um, again, you can turn off the bubble captions, you can turn them on, turn the sounds on, and so forth. Now, if you want to change uh, where a link actually goes to, simply click on one of these items right here, and then it has the uh, corresponding um, te menu caption. So let's change this to, hi, how are you? And then you could make it link to a website, let's say hothotsoftware.com. Uh, the target, for example, if you're using frames and so forth, and then again click on the refresh project to see the changes and now all of a sudden you see it says hi how are you and if I actually click on that it would try and go to the hot hot software website as you can see right here um, now I'm just going to go back and uh, then click on refresh project and so forth now there's other functions you can change such as the menu radius I'll show you what happens when you change that um, it changes the distance between all the images, the rotation axis, you can change that, click on Refresh Project, um, and now you'll notice it looks like it's on a slant. Um, let's change this back, and now the image where you have the reflection, if you click on where it starts, click on that, uh, you'll notice um, this reflection changes and then the reflection end of course it basically changes um, how much of a mirror effect you should get um, then the transparency for the captions uh, for example if they overlap the menu items um, and then the menu scale, how large it should be, like uh, if you want to zoom in, zoom out on the images. So for example, we just zoomed in right now. Uh, if you want to zoom out and just make it really small, um, then you just click on that and you can see all the images are really small. Of course, then you change the menu radius and maybe even the rotation axis. And uh, now you'll notice the menu items are different like that. Um, and again, this just plays around with the mirror effect, um, just so you get this cool type of reflection down here, just how that looks. Now, when you're actually finished it, it's actually really easy. Um, well, first of all, make sure you save the project. It'll ask you where you want to save the project. You can call it whatever you want. Um, and then when you're done, click on the Publish Project button. What will happen is it will give you a preview window like this. Um, and uh, then it has all, a list of all the different files that you just need to upload to your web server. Uh, so, for example, you'll see that you have the .swift 